All right, here's a couple of questions that deal with uh, trigonometry. First one is uh, finding the exact value of the tangent in minus 5, 4, over 6. And the next question is a worded problem. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to take this angle and figure it out, figure out where it is on the quadrant. So I would first change the radians into degrees. And you can do that always by multiplying by 180 over pi. That's a 6 there. And that's equal to, uh, what will that be? Um, 150, negative 150 degrees. So the pi's cancel out. Okay, so tan of negative 5 pi over 6 is the same as the tan of negative 150 degrees. Now, a negative angle is one that goes down from, here's our starting line here, and it goes down, those are negative, instead of going up, which are positive angles. So if I go down, and I have to go 180 degrees, there's 90, and I have to go, I mean, 150 degrees, that puts me right about there. Okay, so this big angle is 150 degrees, negative, because it's going backwards. Uh, but what I want to know is what angle does this line here make with the closest x-axis? That's that one. So the whole way is 180, so if I just go to 100, here's 150, that little piece here will be 30 degrees. So the tan of negative 150 is the same as the tan of 30 degrees. Then off my chart, tan of 30 is right there, my answer will be root 3 over 3. In this case here, tangent, uh, and we didn't talk about this in class, but tangent is a combination of y and x. And both y and x in this quadrant are both negative. And if you have two negatives, they'll cancel out and be positive. So this, uh, your answer will be positive root 3 over 3. On the test, we're not going to have you uh, worry about these uh, um, or angles in any of those quadrants, we're going to put the angle in this first quadrant here. Okay, here's another question that has to do with angles of depression or elevation. Say I'm, uh, I'm in a tower, and uh, a lookout tower, and I see a fire way over here. I know the tower is 30 meters up, pretty tall tower. And I look, and instead of looking straight out, I look down, and this angle here is known as the angle of depression. And they say that that angle of depression is 20 degrees. So the question is, if I look out and I look down at 20 degrees, and I see the fire, the question will be how far is the fire away from the um, tower? Okay, so I'm assuming that's a right angle here. This angle of 20 degrees isn't part of my triangle. But one thing I know is that the angle of depression from the tower is the same as the angle of elevation from the fire. And this angle here is part of, what a, uh, part of my triangle. So I can make this 20 degrees. So then, if, uh, if this is my angle, this side is opposite. This side is adjacent, and this is what they're looking for. And so uh, I can use the tangent ratio. So the tangent of 20 is equal to the opposite side, is 30, over the adjacent side. To figure out the adjacent side, I'll multiply both sides by the adjacent side. These will cancel. So I have the adjacent side times by the tan of 20 is equal to 30. And then I'll divide both sides by the tan of 20 degrees. And so the adjacent side is equal to, let me see on my calculator here, uh, 30 divide tangent of 20. Go. 82.4. So, the tower and the fire must be 82.4 meters away. Hopefully that helps you with those two questions.